Super Rune Zealots, who owns these skies? Most ships would have bugged out and left us with this mess. But you, total class act. Any way we can repay you? Hope this helps you out. Can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. You must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me? Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the Frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? I feel the same. I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that, um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Your mom dropped by. We had a nice chat. She, uh, left this note for you. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. Okay, let's take a look. Stay safe, okay? You've been given a precious opportunity. Constellation Seize it and magical. never go back. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. I missed you.
No problem. Happy to serve. kidding me? Nowhere else like it in the settled systems. First time I came here as a kid, I knew I was going to come back and make my mark on this city. Nowhere I'd rather be. And now that I've got this place up and running, it's all coming together. Nice and steady. Just the way I like it. I've got a good location, plenty of foot traffic, and a ton of people who are in a hurry and need to make a quick stop for the essentials things keep going this way, I'm going to start opening franchises all over the settled systems. Be seeing you. I'm not feeling that bad. We have an appointment for seeing the doctor. Thanks. I talked to your boss. She agreed that you need to be here. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard?
Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo and colony ships touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Found the Freestar Collective was initially founded in 2188. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war. The Serpent's Crusade. The Freestar Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of Aquila banded together with the Pleasure City of Neon in mutual defense. But in 2194, after the deployment of a UC Medical Star station in orbit around their world, the citizens of Narion also requested to join the Collective. The resulting rise in tensions between the Free Star Collective and UC culminated in the Settled System's first intergalactic conflict, the Narion War. Despite a decisive victory by the UC, the colonies permitted the citizens of Narion to join the Collective, forming the basis for the fiercely independent union that persists to this day. Beginning in 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, 
You see, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their serpent god. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remained, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, the goal of all space. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, None was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Narion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs, even bio-engineered alien creatures, the infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped, the Free Star Collective utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. In the midst of the colony you war, a different UC kind of tragedy struck the UC city of London. Gave it over to these things. One of these a newly constructed said he was but critical supply the center for the United Might Colonies war too, effort. Right? Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. One of my slates, some Terramorphs can Ultimately, control people's the decision minds. was made to destroy the Londinian but spaceport. That can't be true. Sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. <laughs> the tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, 
General Indira Rastogi and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls means citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
progress recorded. Tier 2 reached. Initiating Tier 3. New targets active. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome. Welcome to take another run at the simulation.
Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I like the fire, applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? You're not in the Freestar Collective here. Vanguard keeps its work above board. You want in, you have to do the same as everyone else. And that starts with the oath. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? and to uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? Oh, that's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra.
good to see you. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Lucky for you, that is literally my job. What can I get you? You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House Varun, I mean? Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me? I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh... with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. 
I, I trust you. See you around. Got here. It's too clean to be one of the settlers or a stroll. <laughs> of course, you are my hero. At least you follow orders well. Maybe you are military. Either way, we can make this work. I'm Hadrian. I'm a I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart, and their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. <laughs> they're creatures without peer. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. <laughs> Makes two of us. But this creature... I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample... I need its corpse. But we're not without resources. This plant... It's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost. Across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right now. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Look, I wouldn't be asking if I thought there was any chance I could handle it by myself. But there's no way I'm getting these defenses live on my own. And I have to get to the bottom of what happened here. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample.
Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. Wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move.
tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror morph! Oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then... We could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? Not doing this one out of the goodness of your heart, huh? I'll give you what I can. You certainly deserve it. Forewarning, though, I'm not exactly New Atlantis royalty. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? Spectrograph. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means, we're either looking at a truly strange murder, or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. And they have. They even took down an entire city once place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. 
It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. You're right. We don't have enough information. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your boss, or commander, or whoever it is that actually sent you here. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan thinks there could be more attacks on the horizon. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll recognize the name. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go do what you have to do to get that sample in the right hands. We need to know what we're dealing with here. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the mining project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect it. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous, if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... 
Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Nah, well, well, if I'm being up front, maybe a little. But I promise, it's harmless. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help, that's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. Oh, huh. You just got iron laying around. You know what? Never mind. I won't ask. Just drop it off for processing, then come back and see me for the next step. Do you have a child or children between the ages of 5 to 18? Enroll them in a United Colony Distance Learning Program today. Okay. Your children will be I can see you series. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. This was exclusively a military con.
tractor. Don't worry. We're gonna make sure you get that job. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Come on, mate. Let's hear it. I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. That's the spirit? Believe me, this is gonna help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour, and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Citizens are advised to take caution near the military I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job. Just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Ah, yes. Sorry for the confusion. I thought you were my previous assistant. Forgot about the new one. You. Anyhow. Ah, they wouldn't say how you did on your application, but they did say no one else was available. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. Not, uh... Very enthusiastic. Noted. Well, 
I need something done, and I don't want to go looking for someone to fire you just yet. So, I have a shipment I'm waiting for. Don't know where it is. Last time this happened, my assistant went to speak to the governor. I'm sure he'll help you to get it sorted out. Now, kindly, off with you. I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. Hm. Yeah. I tell you, Sidonia is a great place to open up a business. We've really been lately, despite what the news media has been reporting. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well... Lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? <laughs> oh, it's okay, you can drop the act with me. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it, discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship. So I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Hey friend, don't mean to bother you. This way is good to see someone out here. I've been drifting alone here for two days without help. Have you ever 
tried Aurora? Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. Yeah, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. You stay away from that Rocky, stuff. Come on, please, trust me. It's, it's so satisfying first. seeing the hatches line up. So, you're a pirate? Please. We know you're not really with the fleet. Word of advice? Learn the lingo before you attempt anything so stupid again. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. Could have, but didn't. That might be a fatal mistake for you. I'm that gullible? Is that it then? Sorry, nothing personal. But we need a ship, and I don't care about your damn mission. But I'll marry your gal. Tell you what, I'm feeling charitable. Just give us the ship parts we need to repair our craft drive so we can get out of here, and uh, I'll let you leave. Admire your confidence. We'll be sure to set your corpse afloat towards someplace nice. I should have blasted you into pieces! Ah! <laughs> 
Welcome to Sedonia Security. Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hearst. I'll say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Tell you what, I'll do you a favor. Go ahead and finish whatever deal you had with Hearst. I'll wait to take care of him until after that. Just don't let him know we spoke about this. I don't want him running, and you don't want to lose whatever leverage you've got with him. For doing the right thing? No. This action benefits the entire city. The reward is that we get justice against a corrupt politician. I can tell you, Sidonia appreciates it. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a minor. I sure hope you've taken care of our little, uh, problem. Did you, uh, take care of my little problem? Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but... I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. A reminder that particle detonation can occur beyond the city limits between the hours of 0600 and 1800 local time. Do you work for me? It's hard to keep track these days. Shipment. Do you have it yet? Ah, yes. I'll take that. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know for consistency. Oh, do they cover nothing in orientation anymore? No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? Anyway, it's not important. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that st All right, uh, no assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, you're done?
Halbade. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Of course I'll pay you well. You're doing us a huge favour. I even anticipated this by carving out a chunk of the budget specifically to pay you. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia's ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. We'll try to keep an eye out for Hank, in case he leaves. For us to do, you're in good flying condition. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, I dunno. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But, he's been surly as of late and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first, and if he does, see if you can get it back from him. 
he resists or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia Security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. It's the divorce. Tia, I told you about that in private. Honey. Oh, what? Can't a guy just be friendly like? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? I guess not. It's been hard, but I'm getting through it. I'll be okay. There you go. How about a girls only weekend to Paradiso sometime soon? <laughs> okay, you got me. Yeah, I took it. Want to know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three year contract. I can't afford to break it. So screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Hmm. Well, shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Relax, hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. bad about taking this stuff. You know, it's too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? Or where would I even have sold it? 
Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Everyone won't get laid off? <laughs> no, I mean, you don't need to kill me over this, do you? God damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea. I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? how you think you'd really do that for me I mean as long as they get the equipment back no harm no foul right and if they think I got it back for them then maybe I'll finally get the respect I deserve yeah 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 I'm down for this Let, let's do it oh do tell what took him so long A 
Look, I've got some credits set aside for you, but I need to know what happened with the equipment first. Care to fill me in? Wow, is that true, Hank? Sounds like you really gave it to him, eh? Well, good on you then. Oh yeah, well, I really just wanted to prove myself, you know, take initiative and stuff. So, I went early to go pick it up, but when I returned to Mars, I noticed that pirates were following me. I diverted from the spaceport and led them into the desert, where I fought them off and drove them away. Oh, it was wild, man! Turns out I had you all wrong, Hank. You'll have to tell me all about it later. Let's allow our friend here to get going, though. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? I see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, 
supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Hey! Okay, no problem.